What's up guys? Welcome back to day 11 of our Bayliner boat project. Today is Saturday and I've got big news. Today is the day that we are finally going to get this engine running. No, I've been talking about it guys, but today is the day. Alrighty guys, so before we get into it, I just went shopping and got back home. Let me show you guys what I got. So first, to start off with, I got a filter wrench for getting on and off the oil filter. And of course, I got a new oil filter, the Quicksilver brand. Here's the part number. This one's actually equivalent to a few others you can look up on Google. I might include that in the video description. Got, of course, a funnel for pouring the oil and stuff in. Then, of course, I got a pack of four new spark plugs. Now, these are only uh, copper ones, which is the minimum. Of course, you guys can go fancier than this. I just took this because this was the only one of the same size that uh, the auto parts store had currently. So it'll work for now. They just won't last as long, which is fine with me. Then I got a big old 16 quart, uh, basically oil pan to drain the oil into. And actually we won't even be able to fit that underneath the engine. So what I'm going to do is what they call the trash bag technique. So I got super thick, heavy duty black trash bags. And so what we'll do is we'll put the bag underneath the engine and all the oil will run into that and then we'll sort of bag it up. Then eventually they'll drain it into this to take to the oil recycling place. Alright, next we've got Marvel Mystery Oil. Because we're dealing with an engine that hasn't been run in over a year, we really need to give it uh, I guess some priming on the lubrication of the cylinders. And so you'll see a lot of people who have different solutions for this. Some use Marvel Mystery Oil. You'll see some people using automatic transmission fluid, ATF. Um, other people will use sea foam they spray in. Basically, it's doing two things. It's dissolving gunk that is inside the cylinders and whatnot. And then it's also lubricating them. So that's what we'll use that for. And then finally, the oil we'll be replacing. We're using the recommended Quicksilver four stroke marine engine oil 25W by 40. And this is a gallon, so nearly four liters, which is what it'll take about this full thing to fill it up maybe a little more we'll see then finally i got some shop paper towels for all the oil i'm about to get all over my hands and whatnot so there we go let's get on to the engine what's up guys so i did decide to make how to get an old engine running a separate video from the vlog so I have the link to that down in the description. You can go and watch that now. I do want to address the elephant in the room before we continue that I'm sure you're all wondering about, which is, Zach, why didn't you upload this video a week ago? It's been over seven days. What's the deal? Where's the videos? And to tell you guys the truth, I have to confess, getting this engine to run on day 11 uh, was a failure. We didn't get it running. The engine is seized up. And so <laughs> that kind of sent me into a bit of a depressiato, if you will. And, you know, the following days after that, I didn't upload any footage because my mind was just sort of uh, trying to figure out what to do with this engine and what to do next and I am happy to say it is not the end of the project and it's not the end of this engine so stay tuned to the future videos 
but it certainly did throw a wrench in my plans and delayed me a little bit. And I was debating on whether or not to even upload uh, this vlog. And I decided, you know, I should to document that part of the process because it's not always going to go smoothly how you plan. And that didn't happen here. But the good news is there's going to be more material for you guys to see. And I'm going to be covering a larger range of topics showing you what to do whenever the problem's deeper and you gotta go even further. So without further ado, I'm gonna play the rest of the vlog. You guys can laugh at me in it because you can tell uh, basically how sad it makes me that the engine would not run. But I can tell you guys now it is okay. You might also notice growing out the sideburns a little bit just use that as a gauge of how far into the project we have because I have not shaved since we began. So with that in mind, once I do get the engine running, that'll be the day that I shave the old sideburns back off. So until then, that's how you guys will know. Anyways, let's get back to the vlog. Alright guys, so update on the engine. So it is seized up. Question is, what is causing that? So we saw up here, all right, we got this belt off. This thing is not the crankshaft. This is just like the water pump pulley or something. Crankshaft is off of this one down below, which is stuck as could be. Yeah, it is. It's stuck pretty good. So now one thing we could try to do is try to power the starter to get it to work. Um, from what I was looking up. So it could be that the reason it is seized up and stuck could be from the drive, from the out drive in the back. Um, even when you're not in gear when you're in neutral the something to do with the drive still could cause it to be seized up so I could remove the out drive to check that or it could be that I mean you know it's just a little bit stuck and Granted, you know, it is something that takes a lot of torque to turn and you can't get to the center of this to get a wrench on it to turn it. You can't. Just the guy I bought the boat from, he had a mechanic look at it and said he was able to turn it by hand. I'm just wondering how now. I'm gonna try to get that starter to run. If we can't get that, we can always try removing it and then using a screwdriver or something to try to rotate the flywheel teeth where it goes in. So we'll see. Hopefully it frees up. If not, I might try putting more of that mystery oil down the cylinders to lube stuff up. Well guys, good news and bad news. The good news is the starter does work. I did Jerry Riga it does try to spin. Bad news is the engine is seized. <sighs> So the starter wasn't strong enough to unseize it. I poured that mystery oil gunk in there. Uh, I might pour some more. Bit disappointed, you know. We are not going to have the engine running today. But these kinds of things, it's very important to make sure you have patience because they can take a while and you want to do it right and you don't want to accidentally break something that you can't fix. So what I'm going to do next 
is try to uh, unhook the out drive and then see if maybe that helps with unseizing the engine. We'll find out. Yeah, that's all for now.